Web3 is the future of the internet, and Andreessen Horowitz exits liquidity. Venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz continues to call Web3 a, quote, evolution of the internet in its latest pitch deck. It cited supposed upgrades from Web2, including the potential for democratized ownership of internet properties. It claims this inevitable transformation will return power to the hands of users. Of course, plummeting interest in Web3, 75% below its December 2021 peak per Google Trends, and plummeting returns for Anderson Horowitz's Web3 offerings suggest otherwise. A live tracker of Web3 grifts totals $12 billion lost to scammers so far. A prime example would be Anderson Horowitz's flagship offering for decentralized social media, BitClout, which used the bonding curve to guarantee early insider enrichment. Now rebranded to DSO because BitClout's name was so despised, its token now languishes 94% below all-time highs. Consider also Anderson Horowitz's Metaverse. Despite a market capitalization exceeding $1 billion in October 2022, fewer than 8,000 people use the largest Web3 Metaverse on an average day. Indeed, the majority of Web3 land is never visited by anyone other than its creator. Similarly, Anderson Horowitz was championing the idea of play-to-earn games, heralding Axie Infinity's 60,000-strong Filipino workforce as a shining example of a new era of web-free gaming. It also invested in Yield Guild games and many other web-free projects. Unsurprisingly, the vast majority of those Filipino workers lost their jobs months ago. Many are still indebted. Almost without exception, play-to-earn gaming tokens have lost most of their value. Web3 as marketing buzzword. Some even question the existence of Web3 as anything more than a marketing concept. Corey Clipston, CEO of financial firm Swan Bitcoin, told Protoss, quote, There is zero proof that Web3 exists, let alone that it would be some kind of new and better version of the internet, end quote. He added, quote, All we've seen from Anderson Horowitz and their co-conspirators over the past five years are scheme after scheme to market useless tokens and sell them without ever achieving any kind of product market fit for the associated project. They can make all the sciencey sounding slides they'd like, but it doesn't change the fact that this once venerable firm is all in on the pump and dump business, end quote. More failed promises from Anderson Horowitz's web free portfolio. Other supposedly decentralized properties in Anderson Horowitz's portfolio also lost money to failures of centralized leadership. Makership Dow lost $7 million to an August 2021 hack. MakerDAO is also abandoning its original purpose of decentralizing a $1 stablecoin. Its founder wants to abandon the peg altogether, and half of its core developers are quitting. More recently, Mark Zuckerberg quietly abandoned most of Meta's web-free initiatives after losing $24 billion on various product flops, including Horizon Worlds. Anderson Horowitz promised a return to the community-driven approach with extra functionality. However, even if Web3 were to return power to the people, it can backfire on its contributors. The Ethereum name service just booted its director of operations, Brantley Milligan, for controversial tweets from seven years ago. Milligan's defenders failed to convince three of the four voters not to remove him from his position. As the supply of Anderson Horowitz backed tokens increases by the month, it becomes increasingly difficult to take Anderson Horowitz's claims about Web3 seriously. Certainly, Web3 has been exit liquidity for its limited partners in the past. Got a tip? Send us an email or Proton Mail. For more informed news, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Google News, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.